Brook might have some better ones too, but I haven't really been out there too much because there's not a great place to get just 60 stuff out yeah. there. And of course, I don't want a level 58 boost to drop when I can get 60 from somewhere else. Yeah, definitely. That's like a, uh, it's not a nightmare, but it's it's close to that, I would say. Yeah, especially if you're min maxing. I mean, a 55 can be good, but you in, in the end you want the 60. For a time. Um, while we uh, were adding, I, I'm always very interactive with my viewers, so we got we got a question from Ramit, um, and he want to hear your thoughts about Iron Man. Uh, how does he compare to Panther, and what's your experience with Iron Man in the game? Um, I haven't played Iron Man, so that's kind of hard for me to, to say too much. I do know most of my guildies that did play him have dropped him, and they're kind of waiting on his big revamp. I think right now I don't think he's in the best situation. Um, I think he can do some decent DPS, but I don't think he has much survivability and stuff. So hopefully uh, with his big revamp coming up, he'll get a big boost. Yeah, I do have a quick question. Um, for the people who try out Black Panther early, was it tough for you as well to uh, level him to thirty? Because it was a little like I put him on the shelf after I got him to thirty, thinking that uh, he wasn't that good, and then uh, Jungle Snare got changed, and I was like, oh wow, and I pretty much leveled him completely to sixty immediately. Yeah, I mean, I leveled mine early early you know so it's it's kind of hard to say because so much has changed since then how he is early game it's it's really not something i can answer very well i do think jungle snare uh you know and the way it works now would be a definitely a, a lot better option than early games but um it's also hard for me to say too because he was my first hero so i didn't have anybody else to say well boy they leveled a lot easier than black panther or anything like that so but i do think because a lot of his skills are towards the higher end there could be some issues with getting him to 30 but it's well worth it because at the yeah. high end he's really Hesitation really strong so you're reassuring the fact that he is a lot more fun after 30 you just got to get through the tough stages right <laughs> absolutely grind through grind through past 30 and and things will get a lot better once you get bast to help heal you a little bit and uh your doras to uh soak up some of that damage and keep it off you you're uh, pretty good shape Cool. Um, there's a question from Alex uh, who asks if you run, the if you have an early uh, Black Panther, Panther, would you run AOE there with your traps since he's lacking it? Would you advise? Let it be said that the um, Black Panther avoided a battle. Uh, do you advise to 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 focus on AOE at the early game, or how would you build it from start? Um, well, you probably do want some AOE because I, if I recall, I don't do a ton of leveling anymore, but. Uh, around chapter seven and even six things start to get pretty dense so uh just single targeting through a lot of that stuff is not gonna, gonna get you very fast so definitely want some aoe you can either run a v trap or you can even run a scything sweep but at early levels that actually does pretty good damage it it's towards the end where it kind of tails off and doesn't do so much but early on it's pretty decent for a time Cool. I just had to lower my voice from the Panthers because they uh, constantly keep talking in this game. Um, okay, without further ado, I would like to go to the skill tree. That's what uh, what what most of my questions lie actually. Um, currently, I have my myself. I have a 33 Panther, which is currently not skill pointed. So, um, if I open up the tab, I go to the Blade Fighter tree, which is his first tree. And for his basic attacks, which one? If you compare the three melee powers, which one do you think is best and, and why? Most people right now are running the second one because of the bleed that it gives, uh, which is Innervating Slash. Um, it comes with a nice initial base damage that's pretty good, and then it, it adds a bleed to your, to your attacks. So it does uh, some pretty good damage there. Uh, freezing I've also found to be pretty nice for boss fights because you get that slow on the bosses it makes them a lot easier to dodge their big attacks and things like that. But as far as pure DPS you're looking at Innervating Slash. Now some builds go full max out Innervating Slash. I actually only run one point in it and then with my gear and stuff it's like seven or eight and I basically just use it to reset the dot itself. I don't actually continually attack with the basic attack but that requires a lot of different gear and stuff to be able to maintain the spirit of not using basics for the main for your main attacks. Okay that's interesting so you're saying that actually you you use your other um, you're not using a basic 
Um, as you said, the, the most DPS would be enervating slash. So um, um, let me think. I'm just looking at at the old three. Um, now with the synergies removed, do you think there is a, still a spot for the panther slash your first ability, or with the synergies removed, do you think that's you know what do you what are your thoughts about that? Well, not only um, did they remove the synergies, but panther slash also. For some reason, they left it lower in, in DPS at rate 20 than the other two. So it doesn't do anything extra, and it's lower DPS. So right now, it's it's basically a wasted skill. I don't think there's any reason to put any points into it at any time. OK, cool. Um, so then we have, in the Blade Fighter 3, we also have Predator's Aim, uh, which makes enemies more vulnerable. It doesn't do damage itself. Uh, scything Sweep, Evasive Throw, Slashing Lunge, and Triple Throw. Uh, which one of these is viable? Uh, Predator's Aim is a max out skill for me. Uh, not only does it let me do more damage, it lets my, my Dora as my summoned pet do more damage, as well as anybody that I play with. Um, and then it also combines, like we talked about with Jungle Snare, and you'll see that in the third tree, uh, to give even more damage. So you make it so that you got more damage rating, so that you're doing more base damage, and then you've got another skill that, that multiplies that by up to 50%, so it makes a, a pretty big difference. Uh, for Predator's Aim with me at 20, I'll let you know here in just a sec how much it is. Cool. Yeah, I just noticed it's yeah, passive just... power, so it's not a debuff you have to apply. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you apply it with your basic attack, so when I hit with my basic attack to refresh my bleed, it puts that on, and then it stays there for 9 seconds, so it's, you know, it's pretty strong. You don't have to apply it too much. Uh, at rate 26 for me, it does 364.3 extra damage rating. So with some of my skills that I use, I'm actually at a coefficient above one. So I get more damage than a damage rating increase gives me. And that's why, and I'll, I'll explain that maybe a little bit better here in a sec, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I get more than the 364.3 on a lot of my attacks. Cool. Um, yeah, feel free to go in depth into the damage rating. How does that actually work because one of my questions that I have about it is how can you see the ratio or how do you know the ratio of um, you know of, of the crit rating and and the especially the damage rating um, yeah. well the yeah each skill has a coefficient so that's you know how much they get off of their damage rating and how much they get from uh, you know, their crit damage also, and also it, it determines how often they proc certain effects that or yeah. have a chance to do something on hit. Uh, to determine that, it's a little complicated. It's not too bad, but you basically, you check your, your tooltip with an item, and then you check it without. You want to make sure it doesn't change the rank of the skill at all. So if you're change, taking like a, a medallion that has a damage rating, you want to make sure you put on a medallion that still has a plus one skill but no damage rating. So you want to see what your tooltip changes between having an item on and having it not. And then you do some, some math calculations and basically you can determine the ratio of what that is. There's uh, a lot of people that go through and do that for each of the different classes. Um, I could go in a little bit more, but I don't want to get too complex and turn this okay. into a math class either, so. Yeah, cool. Thanks, uh, thanks for the explanation indeed. Um, how about the Scything Sweep? I'm oh, just going to continue the, the, the tree. Uh, Scything Sweep, is there a place for that, or is the damage just too low? The damage isn't necessarily too low, but it does have a very low range. One of the biggest problems with it is it doesn't even extend past your Jungle Snare. So often when you cast Jungle Snare, which gives you that, that boost damage, everything comes into it, and it also immobilizes them, so it roots them there. If you're standing in the middle of Jungle Snare, you're not going to get you're not going to hit the things that are immobilized on the outside. So that's kind of a problem with it. Uh, it's just a really narrow damage range. Uh, it does some decent damage, um, but you can also use some better tools if you really want AoE. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so what else is left is Evasive Throw and Slashing Lunge. Do you even use them, or are you saying just like Stealthy Escape on the second trees is way better for mobility? Yeah, well, lunge is faster, and a lot of people will put one point in lunge just to get through things faster. But one of the biggest problems is it also does damage, which will break you out of uh, invis. So generally, if I'm trying to just run through stuff, I just keep myself in invis and just use uh, 
stealthy escape, but you can boss rush and stuff a little bit faster with lunge if you want to. As far as the throws, um, evasive throw can really do a lot of damage, but it's actually because it jumps you back out of the, the fray when you do it. It's kind of a hard one to use because with Panther you generally want to be in melee, so most people generally have avoided that skill. And triple throw is just way too spirit expensive, and it has wide gaps in between the blades. As you throw them out, it throws three blades, but if you're at any sort of distance, you're, you're going to miss. Uh, probably the only use that it probably could have is if you were going to use it point blank and make sure that all three hit the same target, but you have better options for single target if you really want to do that. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Cool. Um, let's go to the next three then while we're at it. Um, so Stealthy Escape is one of the biggest skills there for me. As I said, Plant Panther is only 33, so my, my knowledge about it is limited, but uh, I know Stealthy Escape is really good. Um, do you put more points in there for duration? And what do you think of the other abilities in that tree? I only put one point in um, with Stealthy Escape because it, with my gear, gives me five seconds. Plus, I, I run a Doom Medallion, so that's, you know, 63% right now. That gives me more. Now, when they do nerf the Doom Medallion, which is supposed to be coming out, I think, with this week's patch, uh, I may have to re relook at that and possibly donate some more points back into into that to make sure that I've got a decent amount of time. What I like to do is make sure that I got at least enough time to go into stealth and res somebody without breaking out of stealth. So that's generally, uh, if I've got that bone, that's where I want it. Uh, the other skills in that tree though that I really like, uh, Panther Speed is, is awesome. It gives you a huge amount of crit rating and it gives also a big uh, haste boost. So it gives me at rank 26, 539 crit, crit rating. So that basically helps me push my crit up into some pretty high amounts that, with that and some gear. And it does cost 50 spirit uh, maximum reduction. It's a toggle ability. So it does cost a lot of spirit. So you do want to make sure you got a pretty big spirit pool. Um, as far as the attack skills in there, there's two really good ones. Knockdown Strike is my main attack that I use. It's normally 10 spirit, but I've got it down to 6.5 with some reductions. But for me, it does 8,431 damage to 9,731 damage. It also has a big knockdown, so it's great for knocking down those yellow mobs. They won't even attack you back. So it's a, it's a big uh, single target skill. It's somewhat slow. Um, but it also, as we were talking about coefficients before, it has one of the best ones. It, for every point of damage rating you get, Knockdown Strike gets two damage. Wow. So when I put that Predator's Aim on, like I said, it was 364, I get double that. And when I uh, am attacking an unaware target, and we talk about Panther Sight damage uh, on the next tree, I get double that too. So that's a big one. Another one people use a lot is Savage Strike, which does a big initial damage and then also a big bleed. And I just use one point in that just to apply the bleed, just like I do with the basic attack. But a lot of people will max that one out and max the basic and, and just go a full bleed build. Yeah, that's how I do it. I, I max the uh, Innervating Slash and Savage Strike and you get lots of bleed damage. Yeah, a lot of people are doing that. And I am too a little bit, but I'm uh, I'm running both of the, the bleeds just at lower ranks and then I'm using the Knockdown Strike for the big single target hit. Cool. Yeah, and it's a lot less spear cost, so that is, that is also a good way to go. The other ones in there, Agile Kick's not very good because it, uh, once again, just like the throw, it, it knocks you out of a uh, range. No, I guess it just does a flip, but it doesn't, yeah, knocks you a little bit out of the range. So Panther Leap is all right for positioning. You get one point in it, basically, from the start. It just uh, hops over a mob and sometimes stuns them, but it puts you right in, in, in them and helps you dodge like frontal attacks, like if uh, Doom Part 3 is doing his big... Uh, ice blast thing you can you can hop right over him and and get right to his back and it's kind of a nice maneuverability skill cool i got uh, two more questions about this tree and that's the panther speed i'm looking at the tooltip and as far as i know you apply it and you run faster and it's a duration but it doesn't show in the tooltip do you know how long it is on or is this a passive it's not a passive they, they changed it to a toggle skill in 1.2 ah, there we go duration. 
but they've uh, turned it into a toggle to where it just costs you 50 of your